Okay. Hello. This is how you do the silly. Okay. So let's um. I, I, I think this has something. Probably. What is this? Does it have something of use? It does. Okay. So let's let's say we wanted to automate uh the drive here. Let's say that because that one's pretty obvious. Because like it's all the way up. Yeah, you, you you can probably tell. Actually, I might as well just do both of them as well. So like this one too. Yeah, that that one's more obvious. I'll do that one instead. Okay, so so first thing you want to do is you want to wiggle it. Uh, you don't actually have to move it. You can just click it. Uh, sometimes it might be a little weird, but basically you want the last thing you touched to be the thing that you want to mess with. Then you go up here to param, and then there's a couple different things here. Uh, the first one you have is show track envelope, and that brings this thing up. And so then you can actually put points. So like if I did this, which uh, I just shift click to add a point, and then if you alt click, that will delete the point. Um, and then you can right click to do like a bunch of other things, um, like for example point shape to like change the uh the shape of the transition but like and as you can see you can actually see it move and that's pretty cool on its own and that should be enough uh but there is a lot of other cool things that i want to mention because they are extremely helpful uh one thing to mention is this parameter modulation slash Parameter modulation slash MIDI link. When this thing comes up, then you have this. Uh, first of all, this checkbox, if you have like a bunch of things set and you just want to like ignore all of that and just have it act normal, you can just disable it. Uh, but yeah, you, you need to have this on for this to work. But basically, you have a couple different things. Um, the obvious one is LFO. Um, I don't know why it looks the way it does. That is weird. There is some kind of wonk happening that I am not used to. What the hell? Huh. There, there, there is something very cursed going on. This is not normal. So I'm just going to... Wait. Is it because this is here? I don't think I've ever actually had a, um, let's remove that. That might be what it was. Hold on. I'm learning in real time. Okay, let's, um, okay, I, I don't know what I did. Hold on. Let's, um, show all that's active. Okay, that's the part that I needed to do. I'm stupid. Okay, clear to make sure that it doesn't actually have the info. LFO. Okay, yeah, it's working. Okay, so I just learned something literally live right in front of you, uh, except not live because you're watching this through Discord, but whatever. Side note, um, not side note. Back to what I was saying. This is an LFO. You can pick a shape. You can sync it to a tempo, and it will do it in quarter notes. And you, this has a minimum and maximum for the like bar, but you can put in anything. Uh, trust me, I have done, like, square wave 250 quarter note stuff. Like, it's weird. Um, you have saw left, you have saw right, you have triangle, and you even have random, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, and, yeah, and then if you do this, then you'll just have straight up hertz instead. Um, and then strength... Like, right now, it's going all the way from 0 to 100. If I do 0, then it doesn't move. If I do that, you know. And then phase, that's like... uh, Like, how do I describe it? It changes where the um it starts. It's kind of hard to tell, but, like, if I make this super slow, then it's right here. And if I move the phase, you can see that it's moving because I'm, like, changing what the starting position for it is. Um, 
and it should be noted that when uh, it, it, it always starts at the same place when you like play back. Like right now, it's just moving on its own, but like if I play it, it like jumps back to this position it's supposed to be. And um, yeah, something to keep in mind. Um, the only other thing is that uh, right now it's set to positive, which means that it's only adding values. So if we did centered instead, and we put this to a normal speed, it will look like it's doing this. And it's a little weird to tell what's going on, but basically if we just this, which this is picking like the value that, like this is the default value basically. So when we had it set to positive, it was set to zero. So it's taking zero and it's adding to it to get whatever value it actually is. But if we did centered, then what happens is that it will add or remove. Or if it's zero, it will just stay the same. And then zero is whatever point this is. So we can make it here, which, you know, when it is too big, then it just stops. But, you know, that's good for some things. And then you can always mess with the strength. And then negative is pretty much what you'd expect. Uh, the saws can be a little confusing with the directions because of, you know, the saws are directional, so it can be a little weird to think about, but it makes sense eventually. Um, I don't think there's anything else to mention. Oh, except um, random is always just... It, it, it generates numbers on the fly. So if you play back, it won't sound the same every time. And that's something to keep in mind. If you want it to sound the same so that it's like consistent when you render multiple times or something, then it would be good to like freeze the track or um uh there there's ways that you can like save the automation like points, but it can be a little awkward, so I just recommend freezing it if you can do that. Um I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, you can also do sidechain. Uh, so you can like feed an audio signal to this and then you can say like oh it's on this channel you listen to that and then you uh, look at the level of it in order to affect the parameter which is like super nice uh, I don't think that's I, I, I feel like that might be a little too much but there you go <laughs> ask questions if necessary